Hey students, today we will discuss about the acidic nature of carboxylic acid. See, in the first class of chemical properties of carboxylic acid, see, we have discussed about how carboxylic acids are reacting with electro metals alkalis like NaOH, weak alkalis like sodium carbonate, sodium bicarbonate, and how the hydrogen of OH of COH is replaced by the metal atoms. And the replacement of the hydrogen atom of the OH of the COH by metal atom indicates the acidic nature of the carboxylic acid that we have already discussed. They are the chemical lessons. Today we will discuss about the theoretical aspects of this acidic nature of carboxylic acid. Okay. Acidic nature of carboxylic acids. Here we discuss first of all cause of acidic nature. Number two, acidity of the carboxylic acids of the carboxylic acids and also we will discuss about the factors, factors affecting, factors affecting the acidic nature of acidic nature of carboxylic acids carboxylic acids and we think these things we will discuss in two parts what is what for the acidic nature of acidic nature of carboxylic acid and number two, acidic nature of aromatic carboxylic acids. So, we will discuss now this acidic nature in two words. So, one is called aliphatic and other part aromatic. Okay. Cause of acidic nature. See, what is an acid? Normally, we consider substance which can donate a proton. And here you see carboxylic acids. If I take carboxylic acids are C double bond O O H. This R C O O H can donate a proton. Okay, to you R C double bond O O. Minus H plus. See RCOH gives what RCO minus plus H plus. This is proton. Because the carboxylic acids are donating a proton, so they are considered as acids. But substances, if after donating the proton, the conjugate base remaining is a stable one, then that can give the proton more easily. So here you see this carboxylic acids R C double bond O O H O. Can undergo resonance
to be what? R C log one O O plus structure one structure two. You see R C log one O O H two. Okay. Now this electron signal to this place so this to this place so so we are getting what R C O minus log one O plus. Now here you see this oxygen atom is having a positive charge about it, and oxygen the electronegative atom having the positive charge about it becomes unstable. Or we can say this oxygen is having electron deficiency here. That's why this oxygen want to take this electron pair towards it, so it can easily take it out. Will give what? Will give what? R C O normal O okay. So carbonyl acid R C O O H O. Now this electron pair shifted to this place. So this to this place. So to become part of R C single bond O minus double bond O plus here. Now this oxygen because here positive charge it becomes electron deficient, so it attacks this electron pair towards it. Or it is more interested to attack the electron pair towards it, so that the H plus will release as part of H. The H here will release as part of H plus, and this will get part of the carboxylic ion. Part of So due to this resonating structure, or resonating structure, so this oxygen is attracting the electron pair to oxygen, so it is easy for this H to release as a H plus proton. That's why this is S. And again, if I take this one, R C O minus R one O. I can go for resonance. So, now this comes to this. So this comes to this. We get what? R C double bond O O minus. So what I write equal to R C O O. Minus. That means see this minus charge is dispersing on the C both the two oxygen atoms. Okay. The negative charge is dispersed over this carbon side also, and that's why it becomes so more stable. The carbon side ion undergo resonance, and here you see the negative charge dispersed among the two oxygen atoms. And the dispersion of negative charge makes it more stable. So this is what a hybrid of hybrid of carboxylic ion stable. Okay. So because the carboxylic acids so RCO to undergo resonance. This oxygen is getting the electron deficient species, so it is, it becomes easy to attract the electron pair towards it. So H plus can release easily. And again, after that, the carbonyl ion undergo resonance. Okay, the negative charge is more dispersed here, and this becomes more stable. That's why the carbonyl acids are acidic in nature. Okay. Now see. Acidity, acidity of carboxylic acids. What is acidity? It is the ease of donation of proton. 
how easily the acid can donate the proton or you can say the strength of the acid okay the strength of the acid so can be expressed in terms of its ionization constant dissociation constant okay see if i take r c o o h will give out r c o minus o plus h plus applying law of chemical equilibrium applying law of chemical equilibrium we get what k a is equal to r c o minus o into h plus o divided by r c o h okay so for this carbosyl in r c o h so what we are getting k a is equal to r c o minus o in h plus o by r c o h this is called what ionization constant ionization constant and you see more is the value of the k more stronger is the acid that is see more easily that can donate the proton and because k is equal to rco minus h plus by rco h so the value of this k becomes more if the value of this one is less this is less than c more okay now if i consider formic acid suppose formic acid acetic acid or your propanic acid propanic acid if i consider formic acid acetic acid propanic acid here you see k is equal to in this case k is equal to hco minus o into h plus by hco h because of ctco h ctco minus o into h plus by ctco h in case of this one ctc2co minus o into h plus by ctc2co h okay so in case of formic acid there is very low mass so k will be large very large in case of this one this is rco h will be having more mass so k value will be less one okay that means see formic acid will have a higher value of k that's why formic acid is more acidic than acetic acid than propanic acid is more more acidic more acidic okay and now this is k value again corresponding to your pk pk is equal to minus log k so k value large is pk value less okay so formic acid will have higher value of k and lesser value of pk that's why formic acid is the strongest acid among this carboxylic acids okay so large value of k less value of pk Hello. more is the more is the acidic character more is the acidic character okay among all the carboxylic acids including aromatic and aromatic formic acid is having the lowest mass is having the higher value of k lower value of pk so it is the strongest acid okay now let us discuss about the factors affecting the acidic nature of aliphatic carbostic acids effect of substituents effect of substituents on the acidic nature on the acidic nature of mono carbostic acids let's see as i already uh, uh, i told you so c h h h c double bond o o h 
सो वॉट एग्जैक्टली हैपनिंग इन दिस केस ऑफ कार्बोसिल सी दिस इज कमिंग टू दिस प्लेस सपोज दिस इज कमिंग टू दिस प्लेस ओके सो आई एम गेटिंग हार्ट वो एच सी एच एच सी ओ माइनस ओ डॉल ऑन ओ एच प्लस सो दिस इज दी पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट यू रिसीव दिस ऑक्सीजन इज हैविंग ए प्रॉस ऑन 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 एबव इट इट इज अनस्टेबल एंड दिस इज एन इलेक्ट्रॉन डेफिशिएंस सेंटर because it is electron deficient it want to take away this electron pair towards it so that we will get what so that this proton will be lost okay and we will get what h c h h c o minus right now see suppose in this of carboxylic acid suppose i will add a ca3 here what happen this ca3 is your cross i group it will release zero to okay so that there will be it is a proton here and accordingly what in this oxygen in this oxygen the electron density electron density will be more okay that means see, this electron density will be more at this oxygen that is what at this oxygen Now here the electron density at this junction will be more. The electron deficiency nature of this junction will become less. So this will be less interested to withdraw this electron pair towards it. That means it the has cannot release as has also more easily. Okay. That's why the acidic character of this species will be less. Okay, as compared to the acetic acid. Now, suppose I will attach another CL. Again, electron density. What happen? More electron density here. Again, more here. So what happen? At this place, so. the electron density will be more again more when the electron density will be more that means because this oxygen is withdrawing this electron uh, this bond towards it in order to fulfill the electron deficiency was already the electrons have been supplied from this side by the alkyl group so by the alkyl group so that's why this electron density at this oxygen will be more that say it will not attract to this electron pair towards it again the acidic character will be less okay so now suppose i will attach so and the alkyl group see now again so more and more electron density will be here because the electron density will be more on the oxygen atom here okay the negative charge will be more here that's why this oxygen no more interested to take this one to this one that's why the proton cannot release easily so the acidic character will decrease so what you can say what you can say presence of o presence of o plus i group Plus I group decreases decreases acidic character. 
and more the process grow, less and less is the acidic character. Okay, so presence of process group on the carboxylic carboxylic acid so increase the electron density on the oxygen atom. Thereby it destabilizes this carboxylic ion. Hence, the reserve proton becomes so less rich. That's why the acidic character decreases. So if I write both your HCOH formic acid now uh, will be more acid than CATCOH acetic acid will be more acid if I write CA3CA3CH2COH again if I take CA3 whole 2 CH2 COH will be less acid. Okay, so more the alkyl groups or the process groups less will be the acidic character. Clear? Now next, let's see. Okay, so if you increase more and more alkyl groups, then the acidic character will be less, less, and less. Okay, accordingly. By, by pressing this alkyl group, so also I can change here. Okay, more the alkyl group, so less is the stability of this carboxylic ions. Okay, now suppose C has a uh, 3 C double bond O. C H H S C F C O H. We know. Okay. H C H H C O minus plus. Now what happened? Because this electron is this one, this one electron deficient, it will take this electron uh, process it so will get what? H C H H C O double bond. Okay. Plus H plus. Now see. Suppose I will attach a point atom here. C is what on minus I nature, electron with the drawing. So this point will be the electron towards it from this carbon according to what? According to what? So here in this auction, in this auction, now the electron density. will be more or less because we have the electron with the dying group so when the electron with the dying group are attached to this carbon they are with the electron accordingly at this option the electron density will be less when the electron density becomes uh, less this option will be more and more unstable so it will want to take this electron pair immediately and accordingly the helpers will release immediately so the acidic cation will be more so if i press this minus i group so if i press the minus i group so the acidic cation will be more why because of in press of minus i group electron um, electron density on the on this oxygen atom so becomes so you know density becomes so very very less so that's why this oxygen so immediately attack this electron pair to oxygen atom so help us so we will release immediately suppose i will add another thing for example more with the so more deficiency so immediately release. okay 
So if I add more and more the molar of minus I group so the acidic cartridge will be more and more. Okay. So presence of minus I group decreases the electron density on the oxygen atom of this O2. That's why the proton can release more easily. Okay. That's why the acidic cartridge becomes so more. So what I can write? What I can write? Cl, CH2, COH, CH2, Cl, COH, and CH3, COH. So between these two, which will be more acidic? This one, because it contains what? A minus I group. Okay, more acidic. Okay, so chloroacetic acid is more acidic as compared to acetic acid because of the minus nature of this hydrogen atom okay and if we increase the number of minus i groups so then the acetic atom will be more and more okay because of chloroacetic acid again if i write cl2 cl2 suppose cl3 ccoh will be more acidic than cl2 ch2 coh more acidic Cl CH2 CO also will be more acidic CH3 CO also. Okay, so trichloroacetic acid will be more acidic as compared to dichloroacetic acid, monochloroacetic acid, then acetic acid. Clear now. Suppose if I take CH3 F CO also. CH3 CLCO also, CH3 BRCO also, CH3 ICO also. Chloroacetic acid, chloroacetic acid, bromoacetic acid, iodoacetic acid. Here you see the I want to do presence of minus I group increase the acidic character. Now more the minus I nature more will be the acidic character again. If I compare with the fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, the negativity of fluorine is more than chlorine, than bromine, than iodine. That's why the minus I nature of fluorine is more as compared to chlorine and bromine and iodine. That's why the acidic character of Chloroplastic acid will be more than the chloro and So more the minus I, more the acid cut. Okay. Next. Suppose I take CH3, CH2, CH2, COH. CH3, CH2, Cl, CH2, COH. CH2, Cl, CH2, CH2, COH. Now here you see, here is the minus I group at the alpha position, alpha position. Here are the beta position, here are the gamma position. So here the minus I group is nearer to the COH group. So it will have a greater impact on the COH group. Here the impact will be less, here again more or less. That's why in this case the electron withdrawal nature will be more and hence the proton can release it more easily as compared to this one and this one. So what you can say is alpha chloro beta like acid will be more acid than beta than beta. Okay, so my as a conclusion, how you can say carboxylic acids are more aliphatic monocarboxylic acids acidic nature depends upon the presence of plus I and minus I group. Okay, plus I group decreases acidic atom, minus I group increases acidic atom. Now again, plus I group if more plus I groups are there, then very much well, the acidic atom will be less and less. Similarly, if more minus I groups are there, 
the next card will be mold mold right now presence of minus i groups so in the case of scatter with the increasing number of minus i groups so the scatter again increase more and more again with the increase of distance of the minus i group from the co2 so the scatter decreases okay and uh, again uh, with the increasing minus i nature the scatter also increases like our flow of chloristic acid is the more acidic then chloristic acid then bromo then aristic acid okay so these are the different factors so affecting what of the acidic nature of aliphatic monocarboxylic acid see carboxylic acid so carboxylic acid are more acidic than alcohols why see any no, acid we consider it is strong acid if after donating the proton its conjugate base becomes more stable if we consider See R C double O O H O. Let me know. Okay. Giving water. R C O minus double O plus. Okay. Then what? You getting R C O. Minus double bond plus H plus. Okay, so this is your carboxylic acid. This is what your carboxylic acid, and this is what your carboxylate ion. Carboxylate ion. So after giving the proton, the carboxylic acid comes to what your carboxylate ion. Now see, this is the conjugate base of this acid. Now if I take R C O Carbon O. This second one will be what? Resonance. You get what? R C carbon O. Single one O minus. And this I can write. This I can write is what? The R C O O. minus okay so this is the hybrid structure of what the carboxylate ion so the carboxylate ion undergo resonance and because the carboxylate ion undergo resonance it becomes more stable because it becomes more stable so the carboxylate acid see donates the proton more easily hence it is more easy to get but if i consider the alcohol suppose r ch2 o2 can get what r ch2 o minus plus h plus your r ch2 o2 is what r ch2 o minus okay now this alkoxide ion now this ion is it not undergoing resonance no resonance okay because of the alcohol so after giving the proton this alkoxide ion cannot undergo resonance so, but the carboxylic acid so after giving the proton gives carboxylic ion which can undergo resonance so, the carboxylic ion is more stable that's why it is also more acidic but this is not undergoing resonance not more stable it is also less acidic clear yeah. similarly next by suppose carboxylic acids carboxylic acids are more acidic than phenol
then phenol Why? Again, carboxylates are monosilic than phenol. Same reason, if we draw the resulting structures, so carboxylic acids will give more carboxylate ion. In the carboxylate ion, it will undergo resonance, and there the negative charge will be dispersed on both the oxidator. You see, already we have done R C O O H giving water. R C O minus plus H plus. Okay. Now R C double bond O O minus. Okay. Under the resonance, so, to give what you R C O minus no one O. So what I can write? Equivalent structure so R C C R C O O. Okay, with the hybrid. This is the resulting structure of carboxylate ion. Here you see this minus charge is dispersed among the two oxidators. Okay, and more the dispersal of this minus charge, more will give the stability of this structure, and hence more will give the acidity. Okay, next up. But if I take phenol, see. Phenol, this what? Oh, phenyl side ion, okay. Proton or phenyl ion, zero phenyl ion. Now, when this will undergo resonance, so what happen? You see, you get what? This one, okay. You get what? Oh, okay. So again, this can. So what I can add? So here you see this minus charge you is see, it is moving here you see del minus del minus here you see on this oxidator we are getting the minus charge only on one oxidator but here you see in this carboxylate ion this minus charge is dispersed among the two oxidators and it makes it more stable as compared to this one where we have only this minus also on this one oxidator that's why this carboxyl ion is more stable as compared to phenyl ion that's why carboxyl acid is more acidic than phenol okay